Welcome back, everybody. Well, it is estimated that one out of every four Americans will experience a mental health disorder each year. Despite the common nature of mental illness, there is still a stigma that surrounds it. Doris Cloth is here from the National Alliance on Mental Illness, or NAMI, to chat about what you can do to help. We're also going to share information about a great walk that's coming up. I'm super excited to be there this year, and I'm going to walk with Doris, which is, is fantastic. It's always great to see you. Thank you. I'm so excited you're going to walk with my team. I know. That will be fun. You're a power house in the, the NAMI family. You have raised so much money over the years yeah, and man. you assemble a huge team for this walk. Yeah. You should be really proud of that. Uh, I'm very proud that I get so many people that want to donate to the, you know, to our team. And yeah, we've been very successful. Yeah. Was your best year so far last year? Last year was the best year. And right. How much money did you raise? Uh, $19,630. That is And amazing. that was all by just sending out letters to all my friends and anybody I know and and they just respond with, you know, I love with it. an interest in mental health, and um, I, we're just real excited about that. It's always fun. You lost your son, um, Eric, mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. uh, suicide. In, uh, how long ago was that? Uh, in 2010. 2010. Yes. And he it was experiencing um, mental illness for a number yes. of years prior years. to his death, yeah, right? 20 years, and he had schizoaffective disorder. And... Uh, um, it was a struggle all the way. What's know. what's fascinating fascinating about him, I think, Doris, and you can talk a little bit to this, is he was a really bright yes. um, guy, um, college uh, educated. Graduated first in his class at Tosa East and graduated with honors from Marquette. Went to law school at Syracuse, New York, and uh, um, just the mental illness hit the last part of his college career, and it was just downhill from there. It was very much of a struggle. Uh, he. Uh, he was very gifted in uh, uh, music, played the piano and cello. Um, he was just a real special person, but um, that seems to be the case, you know, that mental illness generally hits people who are very intelligent and have a wonderful career ahead of them, and then it devastates them. And, so. and he was aware of his illness, and he, I know he was in, in treatment and was taking medication. Yes, he was. And didn't he even speak on behalf yes. of mental illness yeah. for NAMI? That's probably part of the reason why we're so interested in NAMI and because he uh, was in our own voice program that uh, talked to groups all over Milwaukee and told them about uh, what it was like to live with a mental illness and he was very good at that. He was one of their best speakers and uh, um, he, I wouldn't say he enjoyed that but I think he felt that he was really doing a service. Mm -hmm. He had much higher goals than that, of course, but um, he willingly went and spoke to many, many universities and um, uh, all different kinds of people, you know, even, the, even to jails and to uh, churches and any place that was interested in hearing something about. When you struggles. when you participate in the walk, and I'm excited to, to be there this year, I, I'm sure it gives you time for reflection. Yes. And uh, you think about, you know, when there's a suicide, I'm sure so oh. much of you, you know, you feel sad about that. But then you also have the, the chance to remember his life and his yeah. gifts and what he meant to you. Yeah, it, it really does. It is a good way to remember him. And uh, our team remembering Eric Cloth has just been the kind of team that, Everyone is willing to come out and help out because a lot of them knew him, his friends, you know, our friends. And uh, but it does; it brings back every year uh, memories of him, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a good thing. You mm -hmm. know, I just really feel like it's a good way to remember a person that you want to uh, uh, do something special with. And this is a special way because Nami meant something to him, and he would have been very proud. I think. Well, and I think he would be happy to know that we're all still fighting to reduce yes. the stigma. Yeah. Because, you know... It, that was it, his goal. He yeah, because really back then he was talking about his disorder a, a long time ago before there was as much information as there is now. Well, you know, there, um, he, he dealt with that every single day of his life, the stigma. And um, he, that was his main, main reason, I think, for going out and speaking, was to get people to understand what mental illness was all about and to not be afraid to go and get help and to and to um, just in general 
give an awareness of how a person with mental illness has to struggle. Mm -hmm. and, and the uh, fact that they can't help it, and yeah. it's not any different than no, cancer no. or heart disease or no. the things that happen to us. I love having you here, Doris. I'm excited to be part of your team this year, and I'm going to be um, at the walk on Saturday, May 20th. I hope you'll all sign up and come out. Registration check-in begins at 9.30 that morning. The walk starts at 11. I hope we have great weather. It's at Veterans Park. If you go to namiwalks.org, you can register. And if you want, join our team. I'm going to walk with Doris. My mom signed up. I know you saw her name yeah, on your list. So remembering Eric Cloth. Remembering we Eric also Cloth. Remember, everything is free there. You don't. You get a lot of free food. We got a beautiful band that plays to start out, and then there's a, going to be another pep band that leads us in the walk. And there's just going to be all sorts of exciting things going on there. Children are very welcome. There's a children's place, and you can also bring your dog on a leash and so there'll be a lot of fun things to do. And, very inclusive and, and fun. I like it. Yeah, Thank you so much, Doris. You're very welcome. Great to see you.